सो वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम इन 120,000 किलोमीटर्स आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस्ड अ फॉल्ट कोड व्हिच इज दिस वन ईपीएस और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक पावर स्टीयरिंग यू कैन सी दैट ईपीएस लाइट लेट मी ज़ूम इन इन लिटिल so earlier it was yellow colored now it's red both have different meanings so i can say this thing that this is not a problem with the car but it can be one of my mistakes i'll let you know how so let's first connect the obd tool and scan for errors as you can see we are connected and let's check the control units so you can see a fault in air conditioning and gateway system dashboard and what's the major thing is here you can see red you can see green red means fault green mean green mean okay and there is no light that means steering assistance system is offline so that's one of the problems because the steering system is not active let's just turn off the car so the very first thing we need to address is the our eps module is not coming online which means it is not connecting with the gateway system and not communicating which is a problem it can either be a big one or a very little one so eps module not connecting with the gateway system can be two possibilities first possibility is that your eps module is fried so you have to find a new eps module if you can or you have to buy a new steering column second is that it's going into safe mode and as far as i can say that most probably it is in safe mode because when it's offline i'm still getting a little bit of assistance so what we can do to bring it back online is i'm just about to show you how to bring it back online so this is what we need to do pull the steering column as much as you can you need to remove this piece which is connected to your steering column and place it underneath and now you can see two torx screws which is if i'm not wrong t25s for the instrument cluster yes i'm right t25s you just need to remove these two t25s and make sure you don't lose them the very first and the second one now you have to carefully remove the instrument cluster and rotate it sideways and there is a connector behind it just like a ecm connector which you need to flip upwards and it will disconnect and pull the instrument cluster completely out so this is the connector this is is lock locks this is how it's in the lock position you just need to pull this upwards and it will unlock itself now you just need to keep this instrument cluster disconnected for 30 seconds and reconnect it back that's the way how you bring a offline module back online for some time so that you can at least connect it again and diagnose what's the real problem is so i'm just gonna repeat this step i will uh, connect everything again and i'll show you the eps light will go away as soon as i will connect the instrument cluster back again because your dashboard cluster is the hub for your canvas connections that is the reason why it can reset itself for some time before the problem can start coming back again
So now I have placed the instrument cluster back on. Let's see. Ideally, if if it has reset, <clears throat> your time should uh, come back to uh, twelve o'clock again. And the EPS light is gone. As you can see, there is no light right here. You just have a battery and a ECM. No fault codes. So now we can address the pending faults in the system and I'll let you know how I why I think this is one of my mistakes. Let's shut off once again. Connecting to the interface back again. Let's see if the EPS modules come back online or not. It's back online now. So we have to read for faults. High speed CAN bus, internal malfunction, function restrict due to insufficient voltage, function limitation due to missing message. This is one of the reasons. Okay, let's see other modules as well. Gateway means CAN bus system. False power steering control module. Obviously, it got offline. Dashboard cluster. Function limitation due to missing message, those two things, and air conditioning, instrument cluster control module. Okay, these all are related faults. So this 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 thing can be the reason. Function limitation due to missing message. Now I will explain what happened. Uh, one of the viewers actually asked me, <clears throat> I bought OBD11, so what are the things that I can do to my car? So the very first advice I gave him is to connect it to your car, take a backup and then do whatever you want to. And that's exactly the thing which I didn't do. So I did not took a backup of the system and as far as I can remember, I have changed some steering settings earlier it was on vw250 protocol of steering wheel systems then i shifted to vw240 protocol so maybe that was the reason now i have to go back in the history and check everything related to the steering control module that what i changed and i have to just bring it back to its original position back again so what happens is if I compare the two uh, protocols 240 and 250, my car was on 250, I shifted to 240. So maybe there is an extra function in the 240, which extra or different function in the 240, which 250 doesn't support. So now your EPS module is sending a message in the canvas system or your canvas system is sending a message to the EPS uh, for that function specific function but your eps module doesn't have the hardware for that specific function so now the fault is function limitation due to missing message because it's not able to uh, run that command and reply and confirm that the command has been run so it's a feedback loop so that is one of the problems or if just want to if we want to confirm that thing, we can just go out and clear out the codes. If those codes just get cleared out, that means we are pretty much right. Okay. Dashboard cluster, false. Fault cleared. False. Done. So, so all our modules are in green. That means everything is working at as it should be. So the only message I am now concerned about is uh, that 
insufficient voltage message for that at least what i can do is i can check the sb4 fuse on the battery uh, which gives power to the power steering system or eps as i'll show you the location of the sb4 fuse you have to check the output voltage of that fuse on load when the car is start so here is the battery panel battery fuse panel and this is the sb4 fuse this one this connects to the power steering system so we have to check this fuse for the continuity and that too on load it should provide as much voltage as we are getting on the positive terminal where the car is start so the next step is uh, disconnecting the fuse array and there are chances that we have a uh, issue of continuity between this point and this point because this is the point that supplies power to all the sb fuses we are more concerned about the sb4 right now so we'll scrub this bottom surface top surface and this surface with some sandpaper and if possible the terminals as well and the body ground as well so as we were getting a insufficient voltage message so at least what we can do is we can make sure there is no issues with the voltage so i'll just do that and after that I, we will check for the continuity and voltage so now time for checking the voltage i already did uh, all the freshening up work grinded the points so this is voltage not at engine is not running now just taking the base voltage as before na as before is giving out 13.94 14 voltage so at least without the load it's working fine and for continuity <coughs> and the continuity is giving a reading of 000 which means it's most probably in its right condition so just taking it on load now we have to start the vehicle Fifteen point seven, fifteen point eight. Yeah, it's good. So we check the SB four fuse, and nothing comes out. So SB four is out of suspect now. As we can see, we have no EPS lights anymore, uh, which is a good thing. But what that means is I have to check the whole history. of what i did of the coding which i did so that's most probably my fault which leaves us all with a moral that just because you have a tool like obd11 you should not mess with the long coding until unless you know everything what your modules can support and what it can't and at least if you don't want to stick that moral instead of that you can at least just take a backup in the starting which will help you a lot so that's all for today